just as we never spoke the term social distancing before coronavirus, we also never asked ourselves what constitutes an essential business. Under the governor's current order, liquor stores and dispensaries are necessary. However, vaping shops are not. As Contact 7 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski reports, some have refused to close. From Lakewood. Are you guys considered essential? How are you staying open? I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm assuming we are. To Brighton. Who was trying to shut you down? Was it the county, the state? County. Contact 7 investigates found vape and smoke shops across the state staying open despite orders to close. What do you recommend? What do you like? Puff Smoke and Vape in Westminster told our producer it's essential because the shop sells CBD. We sell CBD products. We have a couple of customers who actually count on it as a medical. Are you guys actually open? Uh, yeah. High Roller Smoke in Lakewood told us the same thing. So are you guys considered a dispensary or? No, uh, we are essential because we do carry CBD. But the state says that's not true. A store can only claim critical status if the sale of CBD or other medical marijuana products is their primary business. Merely stocking and selling CBD is not enough. The governor's COVID-19 website clearly lists tobacco and vape shops under the no category. No meaning they have to close. Tri-County Health recently shut down Mile High Pipe and Tobacco 3. The Douglas County shop has this warning letter threatening legal action posted outside. They are trying to shut us down. Smoker Friendly in Brighton admitted to getting its own letter from the health department. So we're trying to do curbside to keep us going. Keeping the shop going while still breaking the rules. Governor Jared Polis called out businesses not following his stay at home order. The more folks are violating that, the more it causes delays for the rest of us. Then there's this anonymous smoke shop owner. My store is an accessory. It's not an essential business right now. She asked us not to use her name because she fears retaliation, but wants to tell her story. I'm not above the rules. I was told to close, and so that's what I did. She's playing by the rules and watching her competitors break them. It's very upsetting. I mean, I'm all for free enterprise, and I'm all for fair competition. This is not what this is. Do you think that the state and the county are doing enough to enforce the rules? No. Um, I have reached out to many different places from the governor down. She wants more done to enforce the rules while well, she's just trying to survive. Step up and take responsibility and stop being just about yourself. There's more at stake than that. I'm Contact 7 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski.